Down has started. Leaders at SIU are planning, uh, making plans for next year's total solar eclipse. And while it is still a year away, Colin Bailey talked to campus leaders as they plan for a few minutes of darkness. It's going to be a really good time. I'm, I'm very excited about it. The planning for an event like this takes years. Bob Bear is helping plan next year's celebration. He says it will take place over four days. So we've got Saluki Con, which is a local Comic Con thing for a few days. Uh, we have a research workshop where we have research presentations from researchers from all over the world coming here to do research. Mm -hmm. And we've got kind of the main event is Eclipse Day at Saluki Stadium. Last time we held that, we sold out the stadium, 15,000 people. We had additional 15, 000, 15 additional thousand people outside of the stadium as well. Bear says this is just some of the activities. Helping him plan is Michael Kentrianakis, an eclipse chaser. Helping the planning and see for the, the next total solar eclipse that is returning to Carbondale. Carbondale having been uh, the, the crossroads of a total solar eclipse, which is uh, very rare. Kentrianakis has been chasing eclipses for 45 years. He says he's excited for the heartland to experience another total solar eclipse. You want to make sure everyone's safe. You want to make sure they're also learning science. You're getting outreach and also enjoy the event and what it is that you're seeing. And it will it will show that itself. There will be four minutes and nine seconds of total darkness. Those wanting to experience the main event of the total solar eclipse in Saluki Stadium will have to be on the lookout for tickets. Saluki Stadium will be ticketed. Um, and we're selling parking on campus close for that as well. And those tickets should go on sale pretty soon. Um, but the rest of the stuff on campus for the most part is free. In Carbondale, Colin Bailey, Heartland News. The eclipse is set for April 8th of 2024. The total eclipse will track from near Poplar Bluff to Carbondale. The Heartland experienced a total eclipse you may remember back in 2017.